Okay, um... Well, I can tell you for a fact I've never been more happy to be wrong about anything in my life. Other than the fact I was wrong about the Bills and the Cowboys winning. Oh, hey, I, I said in yesterday's video. I did say in yesterday's video. Last time I chose the Bills and Cowboys to win in their respective games of this magnitude, they lost. Not to mention, I explicitly said I was hoping I was wrong. So, yes, I am glad I am wrong. I've uh, made my overall record 9-4 and four for the week so far. And there's two games tonight, which I'll get into the picks in momentarily. But, yeah. My high is, I can't believe I'm saying it like this. I was wrong. I was wrong. That is my high. I was wrong. Okay. So, what is my low? Um... I would say that the weather was kind of bad yesterday. Um, and by kind of bad, I mean it rained all day. Which is so bizarre, too. Like, Friday and Saturday were actually really nice days. Saturday in particular, like, when I was doing SantaCon, I was actually debating if I should even wear a jacket at all. I mean, I did. But the fact I was debating it should tell you just how warm it was. And my act of kindness was, I went to a pop-up event yesterday, and uh, I gave some pickles for a Christmas gift to a few uh, vendors I know. So, hope you enjoy your pickles. Yay. Okay. In case anyone's wondering, I have like a whole lot of pickles up in my refrigerator. I'm saving for when we get close to the holiday because there's some few people who I still need to give them to. But I will get to that. Uh... A little bit later. So, before I get into this week's One Piece manga chapter, let's get into, um, hold on. Let's get into the, uh, ah, yeah, it's okay. So, let's go over what I got right and what I got wrong yesterday. And then I'll do today's picks, and then I'll do the chapter. That sounds like a pretty solid idea. Okay, so, um, right away, I was already 0-1, because I was wrong about the Patriots winning the other night. I would then go to be 0-2, because I was wrong about the Jets winning. I would then be right, I would make that up by being right about the Ravens, the Saints, the Bengals, so that's three and two. I would then be wrong about the Buccaneers winning, so that's three and three. I would then keep the even streak going by being right about the Browns and being wrong about the Bears, so that's four and four. And I would therefore be right three more times because I was, um, hold on, did I miss count? 0-1, one, one, two, one, two, two and two, three and two, three and three, four and three, four and four. Five and four, six and four, seven and four. Oh, I'm seven and six. I got that one wrong. I'm seven and six for the week. My apologies. So with that said, let's get into today's games. Uh, let's see, the Packers versus the Giants. I'm picking the Packers. And the Titans versus the uh, Dolphins. Dolphins. Yep. I, uh, yeah. So my picks today are the Packers and the Dolphins. That is nice. Okay. Now, 
let's get into this week's One Piece Mono chapter, which actually reminds me, like, it's amazing when you think that we're in chapter 1101. Like, we are in the final saga, and we're in an arc that's nowhere near as good as it should be. Or, it's better than it has any right to be, I mean. Why did I just warn them? I'm so sorry. This arc has been amazing. Well, might as well get to what I am presuming is the end of the Kuma flashback. But let's see. Okay, so without further ado, Oh, darn, there's a break today. This, okay, there's going to be a break next week. Hey, I think we're going to get the final One Piece manga chapter of, of, for the year before Christmas. Cool. Okay. One Piece chapter 1101. Two Bonnie. Okay, three years ago. Go, okay, where Luffy went. Is Kuba observing Luffy from afar? He is! Oh. Oh my gosh. It's a flashback within a flashback. Flashback section. Okay. Um, so Kuma's talking if, uh, asking Dragon, like, couldn't have noticed you looking that direction. Oh. Children are a vulnerability for any parent. And hey, Luffy's a working on the Gum Gum Axe, which would be, which would be the move he would eventually use to defeat Arlong. Cool. Huh. Okay, not to be nitpicky or all snooty or anything, but the way Luffy looks in this chapter is a little bit inconsistent because in the beginning of the series, way back in 1997. I would have never drew Luffy as if he was ripped with a six pack. I mean, Luffy did have like a physique, but I would have never drew him that way. Here, like, again, you got that physique with, with said six pack. I mean, it doesn't look bad, it's just not consistent with how the series started. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, that is how Luffy was always meant to look. But, I guess. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, then what? 26 years going on 27 next year? Of course, Oda's style is going to change over time. So, this isn't making me upset. It's just something I noticed. Oh, can we disappear? Okay. Okay. So, it looks like anytime the revolutionaries are in a jam, Kuma shows up and saves the day. All right. Who was writing letters to Bonnie? Uh huh. Mm hmm. I mean, I know Alpha is a government agent. I know she's taking away Bonnie's letter. Oh. And immediately, Alpha, you can go rot in hell. Okay. So Bonnie is expecting Kuma's letters, right? Not only is Alpha intercepting them. But, and I cannot say enough how bad this is, she's intercepting letters and she is tearing them up. She's tearing them up and throwing them in the garbage. Alpha's a bitch. Alpha's a real bitch. I really hope you get punched. Like, someone needs to punch Alpha in the face, please. Okay. Mm hmm. So, oh, that's funny. Alpha's about to walk into the church with Bonnie using her power, but Bonnie just goes back to normal. These are bitter tasting syrup that doesn't do anything. I hate Alpha already. I, there's a, I love that I hate Alpha so much right now. 
and he met a full chapter, and I love that I hate her. Okay. So, oh, that's kind of cool. They asked him why, why it's bad if anyone finds out about Bonnie's powers. And old, and uh, Connie, you know, uh, Grandma Connie says, it's just in case a wise hawk, it's just in case a wise hawk hides its town. Eh, why then? Came back to that guy. Kuma's talking with Vegapunk, which looks to be as if he's Stella now. Hey, Stussy! Bucky and Stussy's clone! Okay. Eh, that's actually kind of an interesting question. Because Stussy is a clone, right? And Stussy says, I wonder which is worse off. A clone with her own free will, or a real human with no free will. Huh. I mean, okay, Stella just breaks it up right now and says, because, yeah, Stussy may be a clone, but you're a clone of a human being. Whether you're a clone of a human being or a human being or a real human being, you're going to have free will. Like, as long as you're a human being, I don't think it really matters. I don't know, that's just me. So... Oh dear. This is what Kuma's worried about. Because Kuma asked, what does it mean to lose free will? Like, you're still going to be able to follow orders from the government, but... Theoretically, let's say that they tell him to kill a child. If he lost his free will, they would absolutely have to do it. And at this point, we all know who is a saint. So, yeah, that's bad. Um, let's see. Um, mm hmm. This is celebrating Bonnie's ninth birthday. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Looks like it's now. It looks like Bonnie is all better, but Alpha says she still can't go out. I hate Alpha. Okay. Let's see. Um. Oh, looks like Alpha and her fellow agents slipped off with their agents of the world government. Drinking and letting it slip. That's not good. Now that, now that everyone's onto their plan, they're going to help Bonnie escape. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm Okay, because Bonnie is able to age herself to look like Connie. She can leave without Alpha's knowing and then just get to get to the ship they have and they're gonna set sail. Awesome. And Alpha is a government agent, meaning she has the six powers. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Okay. Looks like Bonnie's going to Mika looks like. Says his body's the properties like rubber and fought however he fancy. Oh, that is so cool. So Bonnie used her distorted future powers that she gets from her HH Devil Fruit, right? And she gave herself a future where at some point she ate what Luffy's Devil Fruit is, which is the Gomu Gomu. Oh, actually, Hito Hito no me, model Nika. And so she's able to make a giant fist and punch Alpha in the face. Oh, that is satisfying. That is easily satisfying. 
Ooh, now the narrator speaks. The escape of Bonnie the hostage was relayed to the government at once, and eventually the fishing boat in search of her father transformed into a pirate ship in the new world, much like Luffy's. And that's the end of the chapter. So, uh, a couple things. A lot of One Piece fans, I've been, hearing, I've been hearing this a lot lately. I wonder if Bonnie is going to be the next crewmate of the Straw Hats. That's a tough call. On the one hand, because Bonnie's really only 12 years old. And the Straw Hats don't have an apprentice on the ship. She could do it. She's definitely got like the makings of a potential straw hat, to be sure. But then again, everyone was saying that about Monosuke and Tama and Carrot and Yamato. I mean, you would think that all One Piece fans would be burnt out by this. Not to mention, how much were we cock-teased with Jinbei for like the last, see it was 2011, it was about 20, like almost a decade from like the time Luffy asked Jimmy to join the crew on Fishman Island to when he finally arrives on Wano. That was like almost a decade. At this point, one of these fans have got to be burnt out by this. And I wouldn't blame them. But I suppose it is what it is. At the end of the day, you know... Whether or not Bonnie, I mean, what makes the most sense as to why Bonnie should join the Straw Hats is because at this point she really has nowhere to go. Hmm. Well, I mean, listen, I'm all for any potential for a new crewmate for sure. But I'd rather be cautiously optimistic for this. And yet, let's get to the last thing I want to talk about, which is... I'm pretty sure this was the last chapter in the Kuma flashback. We might get a panel, or might get a, a couple of pages in the next chapter, about two weeks from now, where they'll, fin they'll finish the loose ends of the flashback, depending on what Oda wants to talk about in the flashback right now. But I do feel that the end of the flashback is nigh. And by extent, the climax of Egghead Island is nigh. All I know is that at the end of this year and the beginning of next year, we're in for something big. We're in for something real big. I don't know what's in store yet, but I do know that if this is the first arc in the final saga, I can only imagine how much it's going to go up from here. Because again, this has been an amazing arc. And this is only the beginning of the final saga. I mean, how, many, how much are One Piece fans dying to get to Albath? Seriously, the land of the giants? Although I will admit, I am in that camp of One Piece fans where I'm like, I want Albath. I want to see some giants. Please. I mean, we did get a glimpse of it a little bit here and there, but we want the straw hats to go to Albath, please. Okay. Rain's over. But this is a great, this was a great chapter. This was a very good chapter as a whole. And now we gotta wait two more weeks for what is presumably the final chapter of the arc. Of the year. I mean, not the final chapter. Please, you got at least another I suspect we got another five chapters, at least, before we can even see the end of Egghead Island. But, only time was out. I hope you all like this video. If you did like this, subscribe to the YouTube channel, watch social media. As always, I am very homely. This video probably guys watching your video. We have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Monday. I forgot to say happy Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. And remember, if you guys want to talk to you over here, to let me always hear back. Take care and make good choices. 6 7 all day, baby. Doing this can be so tedious.